There you are. <laughs> that was girls' night. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, you've been gone for a while. Where did you guys go? <laughs> well, it sounds like you had an eventful night. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm about to cook some dinner. You still hungry? A little bit? <laughs> uh, just sit down at the table. I'm, uh, I'm making you some soup. Your favorite. Oh, uh, is that the new bag that I bought for you yesterday? <laughs> it looks cute on you. You should wear it more often. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, were there any new people that you met? Well, the more the merrier, I guess. Did you, uh, run into anyone else? Maybe, like, someone familiar? <laughs> oh, really? So he came back. When was it, like, the last time you guys saw each other? I bet you and the other girls really missed him. <laughs> Is he like the, uh, the stable guy friend in your group? Well, it's not like that group has any other guy friends, right? Or, or am I wrong? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I was kind of right. It's totally okay, though. I mean... How long exactly was he gone for? <laughs> so, you and your girlies were all gushing about him being back in town. Even though he was only gone for that long, I thought it would would have been like, I don't know, I thought it would have been for a while, actually. <laughs> I mean, what's even the deal with this man, like... Hmm? Oh, nothing. It's just... Maybe there's a reason why y'all miss this man so much. A speculation is all. You know, nothing to it. <laughs> Actually, I think you told me before, but I kind of forgot. I meant, like... How long did you guys know him? <laughs> oh. Well, so you were the one who actually introduced him to the group. That's, uh... That's very interesting. Now that you pointed it out. Classmates? Back when you guys were in school, right? We were both too, right? I mean, yeah, college, not like grade school, but we were still classmates before we really got to know each other too. I mean, it's not like he's any different. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? That's not what happened, babe. We knew each other because we were from the same business class before. It wasn't just because of some dating app. Is, is, a, is that how you really pictured how we met? Like, is that what you actually thought about our first encounter? Well, I mean, it's true. We did technically actually got to know each other in that dating app, but like, we were still classmates and we talked to each other before. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, um, 
Oh, uh, speaking of Mrs. Class, do you remember our other partner from our final project? Yeah. She actually invited both of us to a uh, graduation ceremony. Yeah, she's graduating this semester. You wanna go? Oh, you knew about the invitation? Who told you? Oh, herself? I didn't think you'd have her number. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, so you invited her to girls' night. I said that's how you knew. Let me guess. Is he coming too? Great. Great, that's perfect. Even to the party after the graduation ceremony? I, um, no, I mean, it's always nice that, you know, now that he's back, you guys are always inviting him to things. Even when he has nothing to do with the event that he's attending. I just, I just, I just think it's a little bit funny, you know. I just think it's a little bit funny. I, I mean, if it's an all girls' night, right? Why were you so excited to see him? And then, for the graduation party, he's invited too, even when he didn't even go to our college. Like, okay, maybe he knows her, so that's why he's invited. But. <laughs> It's always him, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, it's always about him. All the time. <laughs> Attitude? Wait, are you seriously asking me that? I, I'm excited for him to come back, it's just... This is insane! This is driving me nuts! What did you call me? You did not just say that out of your mouth! Really? I'm the one being cynical? I'm the one being a bitch about all of this? <laughs> Look, before he came back, I told you that I wanted to spend more time with you. And you keep putting me off. Shoving me away, actually. And then when I asked you, if there's anything wrong, or anything you want me to do, you just say it's nothing. Like, what the fuck do you mean nothing? It's like you don't even trust me anymore. It's always him. Every single time he comes back, you shove me away and act like I don't exist just to talk to him. No. No, no. No. No, that's not how our relationship should work. This isn't some Filipino telenovela where everything just goes wrong, okay? You need to work this out with me. Communicate with me, like... Why on earth do you just neglect me every time he comes back to see you guys? Th that's all what I'm asking. You don't like him, do you? Cause like if you do, you might as well just tell me so I can break up with you. I I'm 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 not actually going to do that, but but can you answer this for me? Do you like him? It's just <laughs> every time you talk about him to me. I always see your face smile the way it never did before. I'm just genuinely wondering if you ever talked about me to someone like that and made that same face. That, that same exact expression. The one you just made when you were talking about him being invited to that stupid graduation ceremony. I don't 
ever see that warm smile from you when talking about me? <sighs> Next thing you know, I'm here cooking for you. You know, your favorite food. And then hearing you calling me names back. Is that seriously what you think of me? <laughs> you know, I don't really appreciate that. And you know, th the way you act in front of him, or at least when talking about him, makes me feel extremely uncomfortable and <sighs> jealous. I I know you said that I can get crazy at times, but please, this is so unfair. I don't really like controlling people and who they hang out with, but it makes me really uncomfortable that he's spending time with you more than me. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? I just don't get why you seem interested in him much more than me. It just, it doesn't add up. I mean, is there anything that I could do for you? Anything. Baby, I just don't want to feel this way anymore. Whatever this is. Like, like, you treat him more like a boyfriend than me. I don't know what it is you're trying to do. But you are making me go insane every time you talk about him. And you have no idea how cool I can be. Do you? When I start feeling jealous. <laughs> if I hear any more of him for the rest of the night, I'll make sure to shut you up. That mouth of yours is even prettier when closed anyways. <laughs> this, this, uh, this isn't a threat. I mean, I'm just warning you. And, well, besides, this is what you get for gushing about him every single time you get a chance to talk to me. <sighs> oh, baby. Don't feel scared. As long as no one else can have you, then everything will be pretty chill, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? I knew that we could sort this out. <laughs> but, uh, you got pretty terrified there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just... I just tend to get kind of... nuts. When I get jealous. I promise I wouldn't hurt you in any way like that. Much. <laughs> Look, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Just, I don't know what's up with you recently. <sighs> you know, every time he comes back, you just completely neglect me. 
completely neglect me, and it isn't really a good feeling. I just sit around here doing boring stuff like trying to learn how to cook for you or making paper cranes, feeling bored about your absence. I just really want to spend more time with you, that's all. That's really all I want. Especially now, when I'm feeling the most lonely. Now that he's back. <sighs> um, just promise me that you'll spend more time with me, okay? Good. Now, uh, I'm gonna finish cooking this soup, and probably go buy a new cutting board later, since it's pretty worn out from how many times I slice things on it, and, well, tried to stab it recently, just now. <laughs> You want carrots and yours, right? Okay. 